Hi, I am Dr. Kavita Lakshmi Ishwaran. I am an MD in Obstetrics and Gynecology and I am a consultant in Motherhood Hospital in Indranagar. See, hypertension in pregnancy has been classified under five major headings. Chronic hypertension uh, predisposed or not predisposed with preeclampsia, gestational hypertension, preeclampsia, eclampsia and HELP syndrome. Now, irrespective of the cause or the type of uh, hypertension in pregnancy, any BP of more than 140 systolic or uh, by 90 diastolic has to be treated. The cause has been um, mainly said to be a defective implantation and uh, the predisposing factors that we have to look in for to see whether the patient is high risk for developing uh, hypertension in pregnancy would be an age of the patient lesser than 20 or more than 40, um, a patient with a strong family history of hypertension, a patient with chronic diseases like uh, uh, chronic kidney disease, uh, superimposed with hypertension or a connective tissue disorder or a vasculitis or uh, an APLA syndrome or uh, um, hyperhomocystinemia or um, heart disease complicating pregnancy etc has to be looked into and these are the patients who are more prone for developing um, hypertension during pregnancy other chronic diseases like uh, diabetes or gestational diabetes complicating pregnancy has to also be dealt with. Now why do we need to treat hypertension or prevent hypertension from coming into pregnancy? This is because it has um, a lot of uh, complications. Other than these predisposing factors, the signs and symptoms that we have to look out for in pregnancy would be a sudden increase in weight gain, a generalized swelling or a a swelling in the uh, legs, what we call edema and um, other than the predisposing factors we have to look out for various signs and symptoms in pregnancy like uh, an excessive weight gain or um, a, an edema which is in the leg or a generalized edema, a positive rollover test or a Doppler uh, scan of the uterine artery showing uh, a diastolic notch or a raised pulsatility index. Like we say, prevention is better than cure. Um, prevention in high risk cases or cases where you feel hypertension might come up, it is better to give a low dose, uh, low dose of aspirin uh, as much uh, dosage between 75 to 150 milligram per day till about the 34th or 36th week of pregnancy. Heparin should also be considered during the same period in severe cases and a low salt or a salt restricted diet has to be recommended and relative bed rest has to be advised. The need for treatment would be because of the complications associated with hypertension for the mother and the baby. In, with regard to the mother, the complications include organ dysfunctions like related to the kidney, the heart, the brain, the liver and the coagulation system. And abruptio placenta is one of the most dreaded complications that, are, that is associated with hypertension in pregnancy. With regards to the baby, a growth, uh, intrauterine growth restriction and oligohydramnios has been uh, associated, both of which might uh, require a premature delivery and hence the complications associated with prematurity also uh, has to be tackled. Treatment options include um, bed rest, uh, like what I mentioned, prophylactic therapy to be continued. Along with uh, medications, the four main drugs that are used to control hypertension in pregnancy are uh, labetalol, uh, hydrolyzine, alpha-methyl dopa and lifidipin. The other drugs are contraindicated in view of complications that might happen to the baby in terms of intrauterine growth restriction and uh, oligohydramnios and the prematurity related uh, risks. So in a nutshell, hypertension in pregnancy has to be uh, expected, prevented and treated at the right time so that the mother and the baby can be sent home safely.